Hi, I'm Donna Marie from Relish, and today I'm going to show you how to make pizza dough. Pizza dough is so simple and easy to make for your own um, homemade pizza night. So I'm going to, I've got about five ingredients here, and I'm just going to show you how you put it together. So we have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We have some instant yeast. We have some salt and some sugar. The sugar is the food for the yeast, and the salt is the food for the pizza itself some olive oil, some nice uh, warm milk, and some water. So, um, to start with, I'm going to combine my flour, my uh, salt, and my sugar, and I'm going to stir those up into the flour. Make sure it's evenly dispersed. And then I'm going to add my yeast. Now this is instant yeast, instant or pizza yeast. It's going to activate as soon as we add the uh, liquid ingredients. Um, so we can add it right into the dry mixture and that's two and a quarter teaspoons or one single packet Equivalent of one single packet of yeast and the salt and the sugar are a teaspoon each All right, so everything is mixed together and now I'm ready to add my or my wet ingredients So I have two-thirds of a cup of milk now the milk should be uh, between about 105, no more than 115 degrees Celsius. It's just a very warm, light warm, almost just room temperature. So don't overheat it because if you overheat it, you're gonna kill the yeast. So I'll just quickly take the temperature of my milk and um, I am at 106 degrees, so I am perfect. I'm going to add my quarter cup of water and then I will add two tablespoons of olive oil to this as well. Olive oil adds nice flavor to the pizza dough when you're making it, so you want to make sure that you use a good quality olive oil to, in order to get the extra flavor in the, in the dough. And the flour I'm using is actually a um, bread flour, or you could also use a double zero flour, which is um, what they use in Italy, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. So we add the liquid ingredients now to the flour, and just begin by stirring gently in order to get all of the ingredients mixed as much as you think they're going to come together. And then you're going to end up, gonna, you're gonna do some kneading. And it, you'll just mix until you think, I can't get this to mix together anymore. So I've got what I would consider sort of a shaggy dough. And that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to get in there. So I'm gonna take my uh, fork out and I'm going to turn this mixture out onto my uh, surface, my countertop. You really don't need to have a floured countertop because you need to mix all of these ingredients together. So we're gonna be just basically gathering it all together and using the heel of our hands in order to knead the dough. So the process of kneading is to pull it all together and then using your heels of your hands, sort of, I like to say, smoosh it down into the counter. Pull it up with your fingers, give it a quarter turn, and then smoosh. Pull up, turn, smoosh. So we're gonna do this action for about five to 10 minutes until you have a nice, smooth, elastic dough. And if you have a, a dough hook and a mixer, you can also do this with the dough hook or the mixer. But uh, we're just gonna do it by hand for today. So our dough is really nice and elastic now. And it's nice and soft, so it's ready to be proofed. So you can put it back into the bowl that you um, mixed it in and then you're going to cover it with a nice clean dry tea towel or some plastic wrap and it's going to sit for at least an hour and after an hour it should have almost tripled in bulk and that's uh, the pizza dough ready to uh, to be made into pizza so I'll take it take it gently out of my bowl and it's beautiful and soft we've even got a really nice air bubble on there so it's now ready to be made into two pizzas, two little 12 inch thin crust pizzas or one larger uh, 12 inch thicker crust pizza. But that's how you make a pizza dough.